thing is another type of beast, for sure. Woo! Look at this view though, huh? today Solari X3, 3X, XXX, Triple X, Triple Threat, Triple XL t-shirt, whatever you want to call it, that's what it is. And this thing shreds, dude. Uh, I'm liking it. Sport? Yeah, this thing is, this thing is another type of beast, for sure. Only thing is, um, I'll just get it out of the way right away. My only gripe is this thing is loud as f For now, I'm just trying to get to this parking lot so I can cruise around and talk without having to worry about, uh, I don't know, getting mauled. So yeah, pretty much I just straight up called it quits and sold my uh, MX-4, my Talarius Thing R MX-4. Um, there was nothing wrong with it. I just, I think I talked about it in one of my previous videos. I think it's the one where I talked about when I went up to Luna Cycle and saw this back in the beginning of May. But um, yeah, man, I just, you know, the, the bike was fun. The bike was great. I love that bike. I miss that bike like crazy too. It's just, uh, I just wanted to try something new. And the only way I'd be able to do that is if uh, I sold that bike and used that money. So, that's kind of what I wanted to do, and I did, and it was hard. It wasn't easy. I listed it, and ooh, what's, what is over here? I do want to test out the suspension, though. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, whoa, hey. Oh, yeah, the suspension is all right. I'll straight up say this, dude. I'll straight up flat out say it. Nothing can touch the stock Suron suspension, in my opinion. When I got that bike, I mean how it was already like tuned and adjusted, that thing was so floaty and cushy, as opposed to this and the Sting R. The suspension is still great on the R. This one, you can really tell that that rear, um, that rear suspension isn't, you know, because of that missing linkage piece, it's not gonna be as great. But I don't know, maybe I gotta do some tuning to it, but let's hit this little thing. kind of fun freaking bush whacked the shit out of my arm though oh yeah back to the story so i thought like long and hard about it i didn't know if i really wanted to give up my first bike because i get like super sentimental on stuff like that but whatever you gotta do what you gotta do so i remember i had to sell my first camera so you know this couldn't be any different uh where am i gonna go I pretty much, um, I put it up for sale, but then literally in like, I don't know, maybe within 48 hours, a couple people emailed me. So, um, met up with the guy, super chill dude. We met up at a spot. I don't know about you guys, but I meet up at like police stations and stuff. <laughs> I don't know, um, I'm not taking any chances. There was one situation where, uh, yeah, I don't know. It just got sketched. The guy was weird and it, like it had to do with me. He was holding something I was selling. I didn't ask for the money yet and I, that's on me but he straight up was like trying to lower the price and i was like uh nah dude i think i'm good I, as i like reached over to grab my thing he like pulled it away i think i sound like a camera shoulder rig or something like that i don't know what it was i can't remember but he like pulled away and was like uh that, he was like that, 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 hold on i was like all right nah dude now nah, this is sketch i don't want this to turn into anything crazy but um yo i'm out here on the pegs right now man Sketching out, man. Sketch McGee style. You see if this guy says what up. Yeah, chill, dude. 
But look at this view though, though. I had to stop and look. But we out. What's up, man? And it's cool up here. Sorry, I keep freaking sidetracking. Um, yeah, I put my bike up, sold it, met up with the dude. He was way chill. And then, um, you know, someone could build like a DIY skate spot right here. So, <laughs> my bad. And then, um, yeah, I got the money. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know if I want to get the X3 or get the Suron because that was going to be my second option was, uh, remember, I, I don't know if you guys saw in the video. In one of my videos, or a couple of my videos, I kept bringing up how I wanted to um, get a Suron again. And uh, if it was a decision between this and the Suron, I would probably go with the, the Suron. Um, just because there's just little just, just little things and stuff that I would, you know, I prefer on the Suron, like the suspension and I don't know. Of course, you're sacrificing battery capacity and stuff, but I still haven't tested the range on this. This is pretty much my first ride downtown. I've only taken it around my neighborhood like twice. Man, I'm so scared of flat tires right now. Man, this thing, dude, this thing is so fun. It's so snappy and just like, it's, oh man, like coming from that weight of that other, the, the MX-4, I almost said that other bike as if it was like nothing, a piece of junk. No, I love that bike. So yeah, uh, I got this instead of the uh, Suron. I was considering the Suron and then I said, you know what? I'm good. I'm just going to try to save a lot of money and get a bike that like, I, it's, it's kind of like you're, you're taking a chance with this because this is a brand new bike. You know, it's still new. When there's a new bike out, you got to, you know, give it some time for people to make vids and uh, make some vids and, and kind of, uh, you know, discover issues. And um, so I said to myself, I said, look, I'll give it a week to try and get the Telaria X3 because I've seen a lot of people mentioning through just like comments and stuff like that, and, like little forums and videos that this bike um, is like impossible to get. I mean, it's in high demand, Popular, popularity, people want to get it for that price. Um, man, I don't want to go down this way again. Whatever, let's just go the way we always go, shall we? Right in front of the Top Gun house. But, uh, I mean, I don't got to sit here and explain it. The power this thing puts out, the motors, the same motors this thing are. The only thing I'd say that I, I'm not a fan of, you know what, Eco Mode feels a little bit snappier too than the R. But um, the only thing I think I'm not a fan of, or not really not a fan of, but just it, I'm, I'm taking a huge L on, is the range. Yeah, I feel like, the, you know, the range is obviously a lot better on that R. And when you come from something as good as that, you kind of, your, your perspective on anything else is kind of, you know, you've experienced really great range. So anything else seems kind of uh, not that good. But this is decent. I mean, it's probably better than the Suron. I don't know. I guess it depends, right, on like certain factors. So yeah, I was like, I'm gonna give it a week, whatever. And then um, I did the whole thing where, you know, I don't I don't really trust that sign up for email stuff. I'll try to get up through here. Oh no, homie got hurt. Damn. I don't really trust the whole like sign up your email for notifications and stuff like that. Cause um, I've done that before in the past for like other stuff and like was never notified. Shout out Tom Cruise, Top Gun, baby. Top Gun. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just don't trust those things. So what I did was I was just doing the refresh thing where you just F5, F5 all day and night. If I woke up in the middle of the night, F5, baby. As soon as I wake up, F5. Before I go to sleep, F5. For like the first two days, I started to lose hope. I was like, you know what, man? I think I'm just gonna go for the Suron. I'm gonna have to pay a little bit more or whatever. At least, you know, it's worth it. That bike is like super legit. So there was one day where I was just chilling, right? And I was like watching a movie. Man, do I want to go through here? Can I go through here? Get to the other side? Yeah, I can. Break on through to the other side. Break on through. Break on through. So yeah, now that I can concentrate. <laughs> I, um... So where was I? 
Oh yeah, I was watching something like a movie or a TV show and I hit refresh and I like, it was to the point where I wasn't even looking at the screen anymore. And I look down, I do like a triple take. I'm like, what? Like it says add to cart? What the f and I placed the order. It took, dude, it took like 30 seconds to order. This is the funny part right here. I, I refreshed the page on my computer and then the thing said out of stock again. So I think, I think that's just a thing that happens on websites when they're like bogged down or something from a lot of uh, traffic coming in and out, especially for something like this. But anyway, man, this thing is so loud. I hope you guys can hear me. Make sure I don't get hit by nobody around here. Hey. So yeah, uh, I placed my order and then, yeah, I was good to go. There were some things I was kind of scared of. I was like, dude, this is too good to be true. Why did I think this was gonna be like a month long process? I, I really thought I was gonna have to, I gave myself a week of, of like doing like the whole refreshing the page, but I thought I was gonna be there for like, man, this bike just ate up those train tracks. There was no like rattle or anything. Yeah, I thought this process was gonna take forever. So the ordering process took two days for me. They emailed me and was like, hey, uh, your order's ready for pickup, which was like unbelievable. It was like amazing. I didn't even, I, it, dude, it caught me by surprise. I had it set out to be like a complete month before I even saw this thing. And straight up the thing, I was able to pick it up within a few days. So I took a trip up to Luna Cycle and um, went and picked it up. It was cool. Made a little unboxing, which I'll probably make a whole separate video for that. Just for, you know, if anyone wants to actually see this bike getting unboxed. But this thing is solid, dude. Look at that. It's just so light. Let me slide up out of here. I know there's a lot of things I'll probably miss uh, in this video. Like, because there's a lot of things I wanted to cover and, and discuss. But I just, I don't know. My mind's all over the place. And I don't know what I've already said or what I haven't. But I just know this bike, like virtually no, no sounds at all. There might be a little play in the battery compartment. Um, I'll show a little clip now what it looks like in there. It's, it's pretty like open looking and looks like, like it looks like there could be a little bit of movement, but not too much. Oh snap, yeah. Oh. But yeah, that's another thing, that battery. Um, it does kind of suck a little bit. It, it is kind of a, for me, where I live, I like the peace of mind of being able to take my battery out and bring it in and charge it. I know these are still new bikes and there's still a lot of kinks that need to be ironed out, like in terms of, uh, you know, just whatever, little things here and there. Oh, you know what? I wanna, I wanna hit that street up. The front shock is actually pretty solid. But yeah, there's just things like, you know, this bike, this Talaria hasn't been out for that long. Not just this XXX, but the Sting R and the MX3, the MX4 and the MX3. So, I mean, you would imagine that there's still things that need to be kind of, you know, you know, worked on in terms of solidifying and making a, a very solid bike. That's what the Suron went through, you know what I mean? So I'm assuming this would do the same thing. This would need the same thing. You need time. Time is the only thing that's gonna really like, you know, get things figured out and uh, solved. But uh, everyone's, you know, everyone's, uh, what's it called? Like everyone's preferences are different and everyone's uh, perception on these bikes are different. People have different opinions on what's like loud and what isn't. This for me is loud as fuck. Like I said earlier, super loud. Ah, yikes, man. I mean, forget about it, right? Sheesh. Other than how loud it is and the rear shock being a little bit stiffer than what I've tried before. Love the bike, man. Super light, dude. You could just whip this thing around. Oh yeah, and also the range too. I forgot to say that. It just, it's dropped a little bit. Yeah, man, this throttle, dude, feels so good. But I mean, so did the R. The R felt great, too. The seat's not really bothering me. I mean, I used to skate, like, half of my life I spent skateboarding, like, throwing my body down gaps and stairs and 
rails and ledges and whatever. So pain and like soreness, I think I can just handle it a little better. It doesn't really, like it's just, I don't really notice it as much. But no, nah, when I'm actually on this seat, it doesn't feel bad at all. It is more narrow, but uh, yeah, it's chill. Now, I'm gonna discuss something right now that I know a lot of people are probably gonna hate to hear, but I really don't like, you know, I, I don't know if I really care. It's, I'm not talking bad on the bike. I'm not bashing the bike. Is this regen on? No, it's not. Huh. Uh, I'm not talking bad on the MX-4. I love the R. I mean, look at how much time I spent on it. Made all those videos for all you wonderful people. Just kidding. You know, that bike, it, there, was a, there was something with that bike that I kind of wasn't really a fan of from the start. And then it just grew on me. And it has to do with that front sprocket on that output shaft, on that gearbox. So this, if you guys you know don't already know i'm sure you all do if you're watching this but the drivetrain on here is similar it's it's almost identical to the suron which i like i like that simple primary belt like you know i mean yeah i guess you have to replace it if you snap it but a lot of you know that's that's subjective i mean people it depends on what you're doing how hard you're riding where you're riding whatever i just like the simplicity of it now with the Talari's gearbox, I've never really heard or seen a situation where that gearbox needed to be, you know, there was anything internal. I think I saw a video of a guy cracking his on the outside, but that's about it. But that's, you know, that's an external reason. I think he was going hard in the paint and then it messed his joint up. Yeah, but as for just like, you know, like the, the belt drive and then connected to the jack shaft and the chain, I like that. I like that simple setup. That's just me personally. You know what I mean? Also, that front sprocket is bolted to the jack shaft. I would rather prefer that. I personally think that that's a better, well, I wouldn't say better system, I guess, for these bikes. Hey, this is where I got hit by that B. Yeah, that, that, that front sprocket just dances around a little bit too much and, you know, it just gets annoying through time. I don't think that's anything anyone out there needs to worry about. I think you're just having too much fun on the bike. And I'd say I'd only notice it like maybe 20% of the time because, uh, you know, the rest of the time you're just out cruising. You're not really paying attention to it. It would be like if I was going maybe, I don't know, when, 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 the, when the front sprocket is under load, you don't hear nothing. You like it because it, it's, it's, I guess it's being pulled, I guess, from the motor and then the chain. I don't know the science behind it. So uh, yeah, pretty much. I like this system because uh, it's bolted to the jack shaft. This though, man, this, look how like, it's just so clean looking and so beautiful. And I'm hyped on this bike. Let me get up out of here. I get rolled up on. I noticed the eco mode is a little bit more powerful. Maybe it's just me. Oh yeah, you can really feel that rear suspension. I, I gotta tune them. I gotta make adjustments on it and just see what's the best setting. No, it's not that bad. These tires, they're legit. Oh, I'm so hyped that these come with stock supermotos and they feel so smooth that the bike just rolls forever, man. Or not rolls forever, but it rolls so smooth. Oh shit. I think I need to put more tire or more tires in these airs. I need to put more air in these tires. Sorry guys, I don't know what to say, man. I'm just like, love this bike. It's just so light and it feels so good. So here's one thing. I thought my knees would be like way up here. I thought it was gonna be like this, literally. Cause I have long legs, dude. I'm a long legged dude. Long legged as fuck. But um, Nah, they're chilling. They feel good. They're like pretty chill, I guess. The pegs, you know, I got the pegs on from now. I'm out here riding dirty, sketching, dude. Yeah, I don't really know what else there is to say about it. Throttle feels good. Got the lights. This, I'm a fan of that you can change and turn off and do whatever. Overall, I do miss the R. I know to a lot of you, you guys are like probably thinking, dude, that's an L. You just took an L right there. No, not at all, man. 
if I could take the power from that bike and the battery capacity and put it onto here, that'd be like my ideal bike. But um, you know, each bike always has its sacrifices and stuff like that. So I'm not really going far. So, so I had to turn around real quick because I'm going this way. This is some downhill right here. Well, I mean, it was downhill over there too. But yeah, like I was saying, I just think this drivetrain is just better in my opinion. Uh, you know, to me, I know everyone's different. So one benefit of that gearbox definitely is it is quieter. Nothing against the MX-4. You know, I love that bike. And I've expressed that and I've been nothing but honest about it. So, um, Almost just instinctively like went over to the right to hit that jump. What's over here? I've never been in this little vicinity. I know there's a skate spot right here, but I've never actually been here. This thing, shout out to the homies that have hit this before. Dude, I would, I get wrecked on that. Hey, shout out to the planes. So that's what I was gonna say, these brakes. These brakes are, way well i mean the stock brakes on the uh, r wore down through time but i don't even remember what they felt like stock i mean like brand new they wore down a bit but they still worked but i mean i think i remember from the beginning they weren't that they weren't the best i think these are a little bit better for some reason more responsive uh they feel a little more responsive but who knows so yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anything else to really cover with this bike. I think I covered it all. Uh, at least all that I can think of that, you know, I'm kind of all over the place right now. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I appreciate all you guys. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, you know, let's take it down this little embankment right here. This little slow bitch. Skirt. Oh yeah, that felt good. All right, so this is the part of the video that's kind of weird. This last part of the video is just gonna be like an end commentary because I use a GoPro and we all know how GoPros are. And the battery started acting up. I don't know what happened at the end there. This isn't even really after that video or the same day. This is a few days after. So it's kind of confusing the timeline and everything. Pretty much why I went down to that little spot. I was gonna discuss, you know, like what my plans are to, with this bike. Reason why I'm playing like random footage as opposed to like, I don't know, filming on the bike is, well, I don't have the bike anymore. So I actually sold this bike. I sold the XXX. After one day of riding and about a few days of owning, yeah, I think like one or two days of owning it, I listed it and um, there was one guy that messaged me and he came down and bought it. Super chill dude. I didn't lose anything on it, which is a good thing. I got back what I paid for it, so that's always good. So yeah, I have no bike, I'm bikeless right now. So that right there explains why the title of this video is called First Ride and Last. Because um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the last ride as well as the first. So <laughs> what I really want to talk about is why I sold the bike and what's next, I guess, like what, what I'm going to get. So I decided to sell the bike because originally when I sold my MX-4, I didn't know whether or not I wanted to get this XXX or a Suron. And I gave myself a week, like I said in the video, I was like, you know what, I'm going to give myself a week. If I can't get an XXX, which I thought was going to happen, I'm going to just go with a Suron, go back to the Suron. So I ended up managing to get an XXX and you know, the bike is great. I had fun on it. I couldn't recommend this bike enough. It's just I feel like I'd be better off with a Suron. The suspension's better, and I feel like I'm gonna need that. That bike, it was perfect. I just got hooked when the R came out. I just, you know, I fell for it. But it was, I mean, the R is a great bike, but it, you can't go wrong with the Suron. And you know, this is the whole aftermarket parts thing is 
that's a bonus too. So when I got the XXX, I was like, cool, I'm just gonna stick with this. And then when I got home, I thought about it. And I was like, ah, I don't know what it is. I think I just, I just, you know, the Sauron fits me perfect. This is a little small, but not too small to where it looks funny. And the Sauron just has better suspension. I mean, that suspension is so cushy and nice. You might take a little bit of an L on the range, but that, that, I mean, I'm not going far like that. I had plenty of range, you know, in the first place for what I'm doing. I'm not like going city to city and doing all this crazy riding. So another reason why I uh, decided to sell it was because of that battery. That actually may be like one of the main reasons. I feel like that's just going to wear on me through time. Like I said, many people out there that may not be an issue for, but for me personally, like just, you know, the, the way I, my process and everything is, it's way more convenient to have that thing on me. And it's like peace of mind knowing that, you know, my bike's not going to bust into flames without me knowing or while I'm asleep or something like that. <laughs> so that's definitely like probably one of the major reasons why. Uh, but you know, with the Suron and the R, you, you don't have to deal with that. Yeah, man, I think uh, where I'm at right now, obviously I don't have the bike anymore, the XXX. So I'm either gonna get a Suron again, wait for the price to go down, or maybe just wait a few months and see if uh, something else drops. You know, I wanna see if Suron is gonna announce a 2024 version. Yeah, if you got any, anyone has any info on that, let me know in the comments. So yeah, I mean, I think I covered everything I hope I did. If I didn't, well then damn. Yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. That was definitely a first ride, but also a last ride. <laughs> I'll definitely have like a separate unboxing video just, just to put it out there. I mean, I filmed it. I was like, whatever, I'll just film it. Just, you know, if someone wants to watch an unboxing of that. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, you know, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, it'd be much appreciated. And once again, I appreciate you guys for the support. And um, so it may or may not be a while till I see you guys again. Yeah, I guess till next time, right? Peace, peace.